popcorn kernels welcome back to the popcorn podcast vlog if you are new here make sure you like comment subscribe if you are returning what's up my babies i got a video for you all so on this video it's basically we're going to have a little chit chat with you all because your girl has went viral on the gram i went viral on the gram if you don't know now you know all right so recently i did the june book challenge you know the vlogging with the beatbox <laughs> Okay, that, everyone personally knows I don't know how to dance. So basically, I'm going to tell you exactly how my experience has been since I went viral. And, you know, I still don't know how I went viral. I really don't understand how I actually went viral. It still blows my mind that I actually went viral. I have 4.5 million views on that one video. Follow me on TikTok, too, because I didn't get a TikTok. So basically one day I was at home, kind of bored. I just needed some more content on the gram. And everybody knows I'm always trying to build new content daily. I don't like old content. I want to see something new, fresh. If you're going to be an Instagram guru, you have to have new content. Think outside the box. So me personally, I was like, boom. I've been seeing people do the June Bug challenge or whatever, the beatbox challenge, whatever you want to call it. I've been seeing people do that. So I was like, why not actually try to do this video? So I practiced for like three days, almost three days to a week I practiced for real. Cause I watched a, a bunch of videos, Lala's, um, who else? I watched so many people, the dude who be doing a little dance, thugging with my beatbox, <laughs> in a beatbox. That, so I went on there, you know, watched the video a couple times. I'm like, okay, I can't dance. So this is going to be very hard for me. So after I noticed that I could not dance, I just went ahead and just did what I had to do. I did a video, I recorded it. I let my brother assist me recording it as well too. Long story short, I put that video in a reel, a reel, whatever y'all wanna call it, a reel. And boom, everybody was so like laughing at me. And I remember calling my homegirl Bria and I'm telling her like, yo, go look at this video I posted. She was like, oh my God, that is so hilarious, Coin. I'm like, what is so funny about it? Like, what's funny about it? And she's just like basically like, girl, you look crazy. It looks so fun. Like, I'm gonna actually try it out, da da da, da whatever. I was like, bruh, I'm dead serious actually trying to do this dance. Like, thugging in my rebox. <laughs> like, y'all think I'm joking. Like, I really cannot dance. Let me show you. Box. Whew. Whew. I'm a little bit tired doing that. So, put the video together, everybody's laughing. Like, I remember going to bed the night before that, and I remember telling Bria, like, a couple months before this, I was like, yo, I'm trying to get paid off the gram. I want to make money off the gram. I'm just going to get on here for free. I want to make bread off the gram. And next thing you know, I went from 5,000 followers within a week. I went from 5,000 to 18,000 followers within a week. My video hit 4.5 million within a week. I was like, holy crap, mama I made it. <laughs> I was like so happy to see my page going up, my content going up, my likes going up, my, my comments going up, like everything was going up, YouTube channel going up, my when I go live is going up, everything was literally going up up and i'm like oh my god this is crazy like i'm about to really be getting paid through the gram so everybody was like dang you did it wrong quan you know you should have did tiktok i'm like oh y'all i could have got paid through tiktok like that but it's cool that i went you know viral i was really enjoying it but i still want to get paid from the gram that's how i looked at it i need to get paid from the gram the gram need to go ahead and pay me so, I went ahead and made me a TikTok. Made me a TikTok because I wanted to, you know, go ahead and really start taking my, trying to be a social media influencer. I wanted to go ahead and take that to another level. Even though I have a podcast, I do photography and I do YouTube and all this other stuff. I wanted to go ahead and start taking it to a different level. I wanted to get to that level, y'all. You know, and I want to connect with people who personally know me. I don't want any of my followers to ever feel like they're a fan or anything like that. You're a popcorn kernel, sweetheart. You're definitely one of those. You 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 kick it with me, you're a popcorn kernel. You're never a fan, sweetheart. You know what I always tell people? Don't compare yourself to others. Your time to pop is coming. 
Just remember that when you're a popcorn kernel, remember this is what I say. Don't compare yourself to others. Your time to pop is coming. I'm telling you that. Do not compare yourself to others. Your time to pop is coming, sweetheart. Don't ever. So, I literally, you know, since I've been, I've been viral, everything's been going up. Make TikTok, everything like that. You know, looking into different people, endorsements, all that other stuff. We ain't gonna get too much into detail, but yeah. We coming though, we coming, cause we working on our, um, we're about to be on our two year anniversary, two to three year anniversary, I think. I can't think off top of my head right now. I think it's, uh, I think it's the two year anniversary is coming up for popcorn. Yeah, two year anniversary is coming up for popcorn. So, we about to go crazy for this. We about to go real crazy. And so, I just, I noticed when going viral, let me tell y'all this, you gotta have thick skin. It was so many racist comments in my my actual video. It was ridiculous. I did not know what to expect. Those people were so mean to me. I was like, oh my God, y'all are really this me. Like, y'all are really this me. Calling me any type of names, N words, all that stuff like that. Fake profiles, whatever. I didn't really care too much about that. And then you have the negative people who who are commenting and judging and stuff like that. How I personally feel is social media is supposed to be funny. You're supposed to come over here and get a laugh and go on about your day. You don't come over here. You don't be sad. You don't you know you don't tell all your personal business. I feel like social media is supposed to be where you can. You connect with people, and then they learn who you really are. Like, I got people who are my social media friends. They literally are my social media friends. I have never met these people in a day of my life, but they're my social media friends. And when I get onto the gram, they comment on my stuff. They repost my stuff. They like my stuff. They support my stuff. They go listen to my stuff. They go like my stuff. They do all that. That's your social media friend. And I just felt like a lot of these people who were coming to my page were so negative, and I didn't like that. And I was like, don't be negative. If you're a Debbie Downer, go. Take that pain and try to make champagne, baby. That's how I feel. Words to my boy Pop Smoke. Make that pain champagne. Seriously. Because y'all, they were so negative. Like, just, oh, you don't, yo, yo hair. Or, oh, she just trying to show her booty off. Or this and the third. If I received, you know, some backlash from people and, you know, making comments and saying rude things to me on my page as well, too. And as well as, I was seeing a lot of people making fake profiles of me. And I was not pleased with that. I reached out to them and asked them could they remove my profile picture. And, you know, these people were not listening to nothing I was saying. And I like I don't mind. If it's a fan page, it's cool. But do not take pictures off my profile. Do not. I don't like stuff like that. That's weird to me. Like if you just like, hey, I'm a fan page corn, you know, we support you. Alright, cool. But do not that's weird making my profile pitch. I don't know. I didn't like that. I thought it was weird. I don't know about y'all, but I thought it was weird. That's why I was like, God has humbled me because it all me would have been like, if you don't take it off, I swear to God I'm gonna spam you. I just let them go on by the day. I blocked them so they can't even come to my page. I don't even know who the weirdo is. I just went ahead by my day. Weirdo. Weirdo. I mean, going viral, you just got to be prepared for a lot of stuff. Like, seriously. Thick skin. People are going to comment on crazy stuff. People told me I didn't know how to cook. All this other stuff. All their comments did not mean nothing to me because at the end of the day, why are you commenting on my stuff? I might lick it how I like it. That's me. That's like my weave. Y'all might think, oh, your weave ain't laid or your hair ain't good, your lip gloss ain't good. To my standards, sweetheart, they are perfect. To your standards, they're not, sweetheart. If you are an expertise and you, you know, that's, that's your area of expertise, sweetheart, you can assist me. But if you don't, if you look like this and I look like this, you look terrible and I look good. You can, I don't, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to know you talking about right now. I'm serious. I really don't want to hear that. That's not, that's not your place. Some people like things a certain way and it's wrong for other people to go ahead and voice their opinions on what they may not see as the normal. Mind your business. And that's why a lot of people are not happy because a lot of people are always commenting on other people's lives. Mind your business. Mind your business. That has nothing to do with you. If they're okay with it, mind your business. It's not the new norm for you. Okay, go about your day. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video because I know some people gonna be like, oh, we don't like her. We don't do her. We don't do that. Let me say something. 
I ain't for you to like probably. I ain't for everybody. Everybody knows that. I'm not for everybody. But one thing I am, I'm very honest and I'm very cool and I'm very transparent. Don't play with me. Find somebody to play with. Go play with somebody else. And a lot of y'all, you know what? You know what you want to do since y'all might not like me? Mind the business that pays you. That's why you ain't got no money now. Because y'all always in somebody else's business. So, I'll see y'all on the next Popcorn Podcast Vlog.